2K18. Basically, put it this way. I feel like this is the scariest build for 2K18. And this is just my opinion. This don't got nothing to do with nobody else. This is my opinion. You know what I mean? You want to follow it. You want to use this build. Go right ahead. But this is what I feel is one of the scariest builds on 2K18. Okay? Now, uh, last year I made a point guard slasher 6'7". He's about like 225. You know what I'm saying? But this year... I'm going to kind of make the build the same because I was successful in that, you know. But I'm going to do a little tweak into it, okay. I already tried this on, um, like, uh, other preludes because I reset a couple times. So, you know, I went through basically all the builds to try them out. But this was, like, the scariest one. Okay, now, a small forward. Shot creating. Slasher basically because you know you got the driving and finish it now. Let me explain to you why this is one of the scariest builds Okay, first of all if you look at the layups the layups is almost maxed out Okay, like He literally almost got a 99 layup if you if you look then you got dunks his dunks is high You know you got a shot create a mix with a slasher so you're still going to get that posterizer badge, you know, one-man fast break badge. You're still going to get them badges. So, it's just kind of OP, okay? Now, then look at the mid-range. They showed the slashes love this year with the mid-range, but, you know, shot creators always got a good mid-range too. Not to mention you got difficult shots. You know what I'm saying? So you can still lean, and slashes could lean last year, but now you got difficult shots. Along with the fact that you got a high mid range, the mid range is almost maxed out. That gotta be at least an 80, maybe 85 mid range right there. That's a high mid range. Then, when you mix the shot creator with a slasher, you get a nice three pointer. Which we all know slashers couldn't shoot threes last year, but based on the fact that you're mixing it with a shot creator, which once you got difficult shots, I mean, you can't get Hall of Fame badges, really. You get Teardropper. You get what I'm saying? You can't get Relentless um, Finisher Hall of Fame. You can't get Difficult Shots Hall of Fame, Mid-Range Dead Eye, Tyler Score. But a gold Difficult shot is good. So you still going to be able to lean and pull that three maybe in the corner. You still going to be able to lean and hit that mid-range. So when you mix a shot creator with a slasher, you get a nice three. Okay, that, that got to at least be 70, I don't know, maybe, could be like 75 maybe, I'm saying, something like that, you know. So that's kind of hot, especially coming from slashers who used to have a 58-3, plus, like I said, with the difficult shots go, that's good. Then, by you being a shot creator, you got good ball handling. Look how hot the ball handling is. That's a nice ball handling because slashers had nice ball handling last year too. So when you mix that with a shot creator, when shot creators had ankle breaker last year, you know, that's good. The passing ain't all that high, but it's decent. You know what I'm saying? Then you got, you know, the post offense and stuff like that. I don't worry about that too much because it's, you, you basically got a shot creator and slasher. But it's it's okay, you know what I'm saying? The rebounding ain't as high, but one thing I learned about this game is depending on the size and the width of your arms and all that, you could grab boards. 2K18 really changed a lot to the fact that you can grab boards if you like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, with long arms, okay? So now let's go down to the stills. The stills ain't that high, but that's a decent still right there. That's a... That's a good steal rate. And then if you can see, you get one Hall of Fame badge. You could get eight gold badges, four silver, and ten bronze. So who knows if you get pickpocket silver? You know what I'm saying? So let's move on. Your blocks is it's decent too. You got a decent block, okay? Now your vertical is high based on the fact you got a slasher. And on top of that, we already know... Shot creators was OP with dunks last year, too. So now you got a high vertical. Your lateral quickness is decent, too. 
So you're going to play almost good defense. Now, I was going to say almost perfect, but that's decent defense. You, you're playing pretty good defense. Now, this is the killer right here. Look at your speed when you mix a shot creator with a slasher. You three bars away from being maxed out. You can't tell me that's not going to be OP. Because you're going to be super fast, okay? And then, you know, if you make them um, shorter or something like that, you know, speed go up and things like that. So, depending on what height and stuff like that, you can even put your speed up some more, okay? Your acceleration is high because we all know Slashes was killing it last year with that one-man fast break Hall of Fame. So, you know that you're going to be down the court just in case you want to um, play Pro-Am and stuff like that. So, this is definitely a good build because Slashes was good in Pro-Am last year because... They could basically stretch the floor because they was always first person down the court. And shot creators are good because they could bring the ball down with the handling. And if you open, you can take that lean and shot. You get what I'm saying? So, and plus you got mid-range dead eye and Tyler score. So that's going to be a little bit OP basically on a slasher. Now, your strength ain't all that good, but that's decent. Now, tell me this not OP. Your stamina is perfect. You got 99 stamina. That's a 99 stamina. Plus Tyler score. I feel like this position is OP. Nobody ain't messing with this position, man. Nobody ain't messing with this position. This is going to be the low-key killer right here. If you know how to use this position, you know. I feel like I help people this year because um, this is just my opinion at the same time, you know. This is my opinion. You can do whatever you want, make whatever build you want. And um, I'm going to definitely drop some more tutorials on some other builds and stuff like that so y'all can get a feel on it. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is a good build. And this might be an OP build if you know what you're doing. And if you know how to use the player. Like me, I was a slasher last year. So this position right here for me is going to be OP. And I had a point forward that was OP last year. And a shot creator. So I already know how to use these positions. And to mix it together, it's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. I did my research, so I know. Now. Let's see what badges Slash has got, though. We're just going to switch the top part real quick so you can see. Okay. So, if you a small forward, you got Relentless Finisher, One Man Fast Break, Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Acrobat, Okay. Now, remember, these badges are not going to be Hall of Fame because you're going to put the shot creator as your primary skill and driving and finishing as your secondary skill. So they're going to be gold. But gold one-man fast break, gold relentless finisher, gold lob city finisher, gold posterizer, and a gold acrobat, you're going to be killing. You're going to be killing. And then when you come back and switch it again, back to your primary skill, your shot creator, now look at the badges you got. You got Hall of Fame Teardropper, Gold Tyler Score, Gold Mid-Range Deadeye, Gold Difficult Shots, and Gold Relentless Finisher. OP. You're going to be killing it. Nobody ain't messing with you out here, man. I'm telling you. This is going to be the most OP build. Now, let's keep on going real quick. Okay? Now, height-wise, you know, you can go down if you want to play around with it. You can go 6'6 six, six and get that little extra speed boost right there. Okay? You can even go 6'5". And you get even more speed. It's going to increase your acceleration. Your vertical going to go up more. You know what I'm saying? Your off ball, your off the dribble shot, mid-range going to go up. Off the dribble shot, three going to go up. Driving layup, all that's going to go up. Even your speed with the ball. So your handling going to go up, okay? Now, what I would do personally, I like the 6-7 build. And the reason why I like the 6-7 build is because if you max out the, uh, the width of your arms, your wingspan, you're going to be grabbing boards. You're going to be grabbing boards and nobody ain't messing with you. And if you look at it, nothing really goes down at all. So you don't really lose nothing being 6'7". You get what I'm saying? Everything is there. Now, if you go 6'6", six, six, you do lose your standard dunk. You lose your offensive rebound, your defensive rebound, some of your box out, and your block. Okay? You know what I'm saying? But you do gain other attributes as far as a little bit of speed, acceleration, vertical, uh, lateral quickness still. You get little stuff like that. So you can mess around with that. 6'6 six, six is a safe build too. Okay. But I'm going to go with the 6'7. Okay. Now wingspan. 
if you want to go down, it's going to increase stuff. But barely. It barely increased it. So if you want to take a risk, which I'm a risk taker. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to max out my wingspan because I want them boards. Okay? Now, last year, I was about like 225, okay? Now, you could play it safe and go down like 220, okay? You go down 220, your contact dunk does go down, but your speed goes up, acceleration go up, vertical. Play it safe, go 225, okay? You, you, you go up a little bit, 226, and get a little bit on the contact dunk, okay? I like the 225 because last year my slasher was OP, catching bodies on everybody, contact dunks on everybody, man. That really matters. So 20, 225 really ain't a bad build because you bigger than everybody. You get what I'm saying? You still going to be fast and all that. You don't lose nothing. When you don't lose nothing, that's good. So I'm going to go with 225. I feel like that's this, this build I just taught y'all, I feel like this is the most OP build. It's going to be the most OP build. And max out your shoulder width. Because you know that all help with the uh, wingspan. Me, personally, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go with the right hand. But a lot of people say the left-hand shooters on 2K shoot better, so you can go with the left. But I'm going to go with the right. Hit the right hand. You know. Um, jersey number and all that, that other stuff don't matter. But this right here is going to be the most OP build on 2K18. So, basically, like this uh, video. Subscribe to my channel. Show me some love, you know what I'm saying? Because 2K18, I'm coming with non-stop videos. I'm going to be killing come park. It's just it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy year for me this year, okay? So everybody showing me love and been there day one when I put up my first video and stuff. I appreciate you. But it's, it's, it's time to grind. 2K is about to drop. It's time to grind, okay? And I just found out some, you know, some other important news, um... In the U.S., basically, 2K will drop tomorrow, Thursday, at 9 p.m. And participate in stores only. So, that's not every store. But I do know for a fact, GameStops are selling it at 9 p.m. on Thursday. So, um, the grind starts tomorrow, y'all. It, it, it's no playing games. The grind for 2K18 starts tomorrow. Who gonna hit that 99 first? Because we gonna be grinding, okay? So, basically, like I said again, I appreciate y'all. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, This Life's Book CEO, and I'm out.